Hello everyone, this is uh, Captain Kirk. Uh, just wanted to share with you today my story about how I burned off 45 extra pounds in four months. Actually, it's a little longer than that now uh, and I burned off a little bit more weight, but uh, most of the weight came off in the first four months. So I wanna share um, how I did that and I'm gonna start by sharing my outline here to make it easier for you to follow. And let's move this out of the way up here. Here we go. So let me tell you a story. Um, about 10 years ago, um, I had an infection. It was from a, uh, a dental procedure. We didn't know it, had it for about six months. I went back to the dentist about three times. Uh, finally went to a specialist, we found it. Uh, I was very sick, um, thought I had a lung infection, uh, but any infection for that long is very bad, tough on your immune system. Also during that time, I had knee surgery, uh, which made it even worse because uh, any surgery is really tough on your immune system, especially when you already have an infection you don't know about, et cetera. Um, so bottom line, we got the infection taken care of, um, but in the process with the knee surgery, um, I couldn't move around much, whatever, and I put on about, you know, 60 pounds in six months, uh, maybe even quicker than that. Um, it was very difficult. Um, finally, when I started feeling better and able to move around, I was able to take off some of that weight, like 10, 20 pounds, but uh, eventually about 10 more that came back. So I was significantly overweight, and I. Um, uh, we tried a variety of things, uh, nothing worked, different exercise, changed my diet some. Um, but finally, around Christmas time in January of 2018, I saw some pictures of me, um, and it just it it just made me mad. I just uh, you know um, it, it just bothered me that I'd put in so much effort to try to get this weight off, and it still um, it wouldn't come off. Um, so. I decided I was going to change my diet drastically and um, give it a try for at least a month. Um, and I put my own program together, uh, changed how I did exercise, uh, changed what I ate, did kind of a combo keto paleo, but kind of modified and moderate in all regards uh, because I wanted to have something I thought I could adjust and keep on a lifelong diet, which I have so far. Um, bottom line, um, the first month I lost 10 pounds. Uh, so I said, this is working and I kept it up and pretty much the next three months, it was the same. And that's how I lost the bulk of the weight. Um, after that time, I, I did uh, modify it a little bit to add back in a few more carbs and, and things. I, but I was eating some carbs along the way, by the way, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't like hardcore keto, um, the, um, but I did adjust the way I thought about food and foods I wouldn't eat, um, especially uh, grains, uh, and especially uh, genetic modified grains and things along those lines. So um, how did I do that? Um, uh, well, the first thing I did, I got up in the morning, I did uh, 10, 12 minutes of high intensity exercise. There was a little bit of warm up stretching before that just to get my body going. I'm not a morning person. So, uh, you know, uh, exercise in the morning was hard. I normally always exercise in the evening, um, but I wanted to get my metabolism going. The very first thing I did, I would have a glass of water, uh, then I would immediately do the exercise and it would be high intensity interval training. Uh, so sprints and a variety of other things I did to, to mix it up. After that, I would then have a, uh, what I call a, a good fat brain cough tea, um, which is uh, mostly uh, what they call keto coffee with C8 oil and grass fed butter. And, but I would add a little bit of herbs uh, that would help my metabolism get going in the morning and were very healthy for my brain also. Uh, so that would get me going and also help to minimize my appetite and truthfully after getting through the first you know few days of this um i stopped you know being hungry in the morning and uh this my the the brain coffee was was good enough to get me through with just you know maybe some more water 
uh, along the way, and I didn't want to eat anything till noon because I did want to go on intermittent fasting too. Um, so I would eat, um, I, I would have an eight hour window of eating, which is really from noon to like eight o'clock at night, and then uh, no solid foods um, in, until um, noon the next day. Um, so it was a uh, hybrid of uh, keto and paleo, I, and I'll get into more details about what I did. Um, but truthfully, you really can't do it without good fats, in particular what's called C8 oil. It comes out of coconut oil. It's really healthy for you, but it's really important for this because your body can process in the liver um, C8 oil and turn it into what's called ketones, which are what your body breaks down fat in and then can burn it as energy, uh, increases your uh, ATP, which is part of your energy system, et cetera, et cetera. So not only is it giving the energy you need, it's also uh, helping to speed up your metabolism. And one thing a lot of people don't talk about, the C8 oil, um, saturated fats are very important for your brain, uh, but they're also important for your brain to create hormones. Right, so this process actually uh, reestablishes your hormone processes and is very healthy for all your glands and gets all those things going, which also speed up your metabolism and help you to burn fat. So um, first thing uh, I wanted to do was get the exercise. Then I'm eating primarily fats first thing in the morning, but absolutely no sugars, no starches at all for the first couple of days, pr primarily for the first couple of weeks so you can see this work. That's, th that's difficult, that takes some discipline, uh, but you can do if you're using the fat. And I'll do another video and talk about how to use C8 oil and how to do some, uh, get some little snacks that'll help get you through. Uh, one thing I do is I use chocolate with um, uh, sweet and only with stevia. Uh, so the uh, carbohydrate, carbohydrate content is very low and it doesn't have any real sugar in it so the body can't utilize that to change the energy processing because what you want to do is train your body to start processing fat again and that's what makes this work long time for so again i'll have another video where i talk a little bit about how you can cheat um what do you do when you get hungry the kinds of oils you should use and and um, how to be healthy by um, utilizing some different oils that aren't the norm and um, how much food uh, do you eat and most importantly when you eat it um, so thank you very much for um, listening to the video and um, i will um, get back to you with more